All right, everyone. So in this video, we are going to focus upon a magic command, the magic command which you can execute inside the Google Colab environment. Now, what exactly a magic commands are? So it's like a system level commands only. So you can uh, have a correlation of this magic command with this, let's say, the extension of Google Chrome or any kind of other browser. So all those uh, browser, if you put the extension, that will extend your functionality of your existing software. So something like that for each cell, if you want to add some more functionality, if you want to do some add on works on the top of those cell, you can use those magic command. Now there are mainly two types of magic command you can execute inside this Google Colab environment. So one of them will be a line magic and there will be one more like a cell magic. So the difference between both of them will be when you want to execute a one line of code, you can use this line magic. Whereas if you want to execute multiple lines of code, you can use the cell magic. All right. So uh, let me just first list down what are the different magic commands are available and we will see some of them afterwards. So I am inside my Google Colab environment. I just want to list down a Google Colab magic commands. So to list down all those magic commands, you can use percentage. All magic commands always start with a percentage. If it is a line magic command and if it is a cell magic command, it has to be started with a double percentage. So let me first uh, write here ls magic with preceding by percentage. And if I just run it, it will list down me all the available magic commands. So you can see like uh, alias, alias magic, then we auto call and these are the some of the cell magic command. Let's uh, first use some of the line magic command. So let's say alias. Now suppose I don't know anything about the alias. So I mean, I don't want, I don't know about what exactly the use of this alias command. So what I can do, I can just simply type like a percentage alias and just put here the question mark. The moment you put the question mark, oops, I uh, has to be percentage alias. It will uh, display the documentation associated with that. Now alias is like a default uh, or I would say the cell command available on a Linux based system. So if you want to know all the alias which is being created on this Linux machine where this Google call app got installed, it will list down. So you can consider this cell commands are like a or a magic commands are like a system level commands only. Okay, let's try with a few more. So we have alias magic, alias auto call. You can put here question mark as I told and you can get the documentation associated with that. Now we have a few more uh, like a cat. So if you want to just display the content of file, if you want to change the directory, you can use the system level command like a CD. You want to clear it with uh, colors. You can change the theme of this uh, Google Colab environment and we have many more are available. Let's try with uh, one of them. I know about that. Uh, that is a history. So I can use like a percentage and just type history and it will automatically list down or hist also you can try it. So all those uh, command or uh, cell command which I have executed till now, it will be listed here. Let me uh, try few more. Uh, let's say Apart from that, uh, we have a GUI, we have history as we have just now tried. We have a less command. So if you want to display the content of the file, you can use this less. If you want to load some extra extension, you can use this load underscore ext. Uh, we have a log related, some stuffs are there. We have a percentage ls. So let's just try percentage ls. So, so simple just to display all the content available in the current working directory content in the sense uh, what are the files and folders are available now in my current working directory it's just the one single folders are available like sample underscore data all right uh, we have uh, one more like uh, let's say a manual page you can use this percentage man we have a move so if you want to move some file and folders you can use this mv then you have many more like a pest bean. So every single magic command has their own use. So depending on your requirement, you can just search for the documentation that which is useful to you. And we have a percentage PWD. Let's try with this percentage PWD. And you can see currently I am in a working directory of slash content. We have a, what are the things we can try more? 
we have rm also rmd also so that means uh, if you want to remove some files or if you want to remove some directory you can use it you can even set the environment variable also you can even try with this uh, percentage cell also so let me just try with percentage cell or all right and along with that i am just going to put here question mark i don't know how to use this shell so with cell what you can do you can uh, keep the cell command and those cell command will get executed so let's just try a very simple one let's say instead of equal let's try with a date so this date will be executed on a linux machine then uh, we have lots more like a tensorflow version so now tensorflow version is one of the very important thing because this google collab becomes so famous just because of this google open source library for the machine learning and the deep learning that is nothing but a tensorflow so by default as a part of this collab environment there are hundreds of libraries already pre-bundled for the data science and a machine learning related part and one of the very important neural network and for the deep learning purpose library is a tensorflow so if you want to do any experimentation with tensorflow you do not need to worry about any kind of installation you can have simply like a percentage and you can try tensorflow version if you just try this one they will tell that uh, currently selected the version for this tf version 2.x but uh, we haven't explicitly selected which version we want to use it so what i can do as extra argument 2.x so that means uh, currently this 2.x version got activated how we can even verify it so i can simply import tensorflow so it will be a tensorflow as let's say tf and let me just print the tf dot version all right and it will display the version of currently installed tensorflow on this collab environment so you can see it's a 2.3.0 and if you want to go or if you want to switch between this 1x and a 2x version you can just simply use this magic command tensorflow underscore version from 2.x to the 1.x all right and we have time that's a very important so time time just to know that for execution of particular cell how much amount of on an average time it is taking so let's say i want to try like a time let me put here some heavy calculation like a i in let's say a range let's say some 10000 i'll just skip it and for let's say j in range let's say another 10000 so there will be a heavy calculation is going on and i'm just going to multiply it i am not going to store it anywhere otherwise it is just might be crash actually so that's okay but let's see what it will return so still it's running and you can see we got result i get i think it's still running yeah so oh, all right so we got the results like a cpu time it has taken like a four microsecond now i'm not going to detail that how to read the output of this one there are many more iteration and many more experimentation we have done and then on an average this particular piece of code is taking four microsecond you can say and system is taking another one microsecond so total overall while execution of this code it might take five microseconds of time all right uh, what are the other commands are there and we have a time it also available so its purpose is also same only thing is that uh, the way it calculates those consumption time or i would say execution time will be little bit different so you can have a little detailed documentation that how exactly they will calculate it all right so we have woo, woo, but uh, we didn't create any kind of uh, variable as of now so if i just try to do who who will it tell me that what are the variables are currently available in my environment so we have already created i j so i j and earlier we created this tf so what are the current active environments variables are available all right so that is about the line magic commands so every magic command with that we have used just the percentage sign now we are going to go into this cell magic command all right so let's try cell magic command couple of them so there are few of them are the cell magic command so here also we have a percentage percentage html so let's say inside this collab environment if you want to write the html code you can use like a percentage percentage let me try with this html let's say 
after it, this percentage percentage html you want to write some html code i'm just going to write let's say simple one let's say h1 let me write hello column so that will be a so simple html tag if i just execute it i get this h1 tag hello column output let's say i want to put some image so i'm just going to let's say attach img let's say src I can provide here any link or whatever the files are available in my current collab environment. So let me give some external remote link. So I'm just going to search for some file. Is there any image files are available? I can just simply search on Bing. Let's say image. All right. Let me select first one. Let me select this copy image link. Let me just provide it as a source. All right. Oops. All right. So we got actually. So HTML is working very much fine. So same way HTML, we can even write the bash script also. We can even write the SVG kind of uh, code also. We can have a BigQuery. So BigQuery is nothing but the Google Cloud products. So here you can uh, even process the petabytes of data in a single shot. So it's uh, one of the very best product available for processing of any structured data at a very numerous amount of high level scale and we have a file so if you want to list down the files we have html or we have javascript so let's try with the javascript yeah so i can try like a percentage percentage let me try javascript and here i am just going to write a very simple javascript command so it will be a console dot let's say log i am just going to provide here hello call it now while execution if you just execute it obviously you won't be able to see the output so in that case you can just simply right click inspect element go to console and on a bottom you will be able to see the output so before that let me just close all those help so we'll have a more room to see the individual cell now if you just execute this javascript cell you can see on a right hand side inside the console you will get the output like a hello call it so this way you can execute even javascript code also all right, you can write the latex code also. You can write the Perl code. You can even write individual Python 2 or Python 3 code separately. Uh, we have a script also. You can write it as a scale. And same way, we if you want to write some file, you can use this percentage percentage write file. All right, so these are the some of the magic commands we have seen in this video, like a line magic commands and a cell magic command and these are some of the very useful and a very important utility while dealing with the google call app environment and that will be definitely very much helpful just like an add-on which will give you an extra benefit extra power while execution of your code and which will make your life very much easier all right so that is all about this video what we have learned in this video about the magic command how to run execute inside the google call app environment i hope you enjoy listening this video and I'll see you into next video with some more collab related stuff till that time see you bye please do like comment and subscribe my channel